I want to go over the MBE CID small block Ford head. Okay, so here's the MBE CID Ford. But before we show you all of this with the lightning and all the eye candy and everything, the casting comes in when, when MBE gets it, we get these as a blob, okay? Meaning we don't have to run the conventional 10 degree valve angle. We went to a 12 degree angle so the power adders can run more boost, more nitrous, whatever they want to do there, okay? So these come in at 51 pounds. When they leave, they're 35. Um, some people say that this head's too heavy, it doesn't work, but at 35 pounds and for a power adder, um, this is a good weight because it makes the casting extremely rigid so the head won't flex like, um, like, like an SC1 or a D3 or any of those. So this is a major upgrade for anybody that's got C3, D3, SC1 type castings, okay? Okay, and then we go, you know, this is the model head that we did for it. So you can see we have the 12 degree version, we have the 10 degree version here, that's for the super late models, but we'll talk about that later. And then we come to the, the drag race version here. So it flows over 480 CFM. One thing I haven't been talking about, which I need to stress, is that one thing we take pride in is that our mid-lift numbers are exceptional. They are always excellent, and that is because of chamber design, the angles that we put on the valve job, the angles that we put on the valves themselves, so the mid-lift numbers are always extremely high. And we'll show all of that in the flow sheet here in a little bit. Okay, you can see this has extensive lightning on it because this is all solid through here on both sides, as you can see on the, on the raw casting itself, or we would call that a blob. Okay, and then as you can see, we put all of the fasteners in for the, for the valve train. You know, one thing nice about this, it's got over 30 fasteners holding the bar on, so the bar is extremely rigid. We can do these with hat washers, so you don't have to run a washer. So if you have to pull the head off and fix a piston or something, you can and not have to get the magnet and all that pain in the ass of dropping the washer and wondering where it went. Um, you know, it's actually a really good idea so it doesn't go back into the cylinder or another cylinder. So it has all this. We, o we can O-ring the intake flange, the exhaust flange. We can set this up for raised cam, regular cam, you know, for the push rod clearance, standard cam height. And we can, we also do the, uh, yeah, you can see all the lightning done in the exhaust side. And then we also do, we O-ring the exhaust flange if you, if, if you want to do, want that done. So we can do all of this, it's not a big deal. Something like this is usually, um, a package like this is, is around three weeks. Usually we can hit the valve order. I do keep castings in inventory. John is always good about taking care of us at CID. And like I said, what's nice about this is the casting is extremely rigid. Okay, so you have all of this here. And now we have the intake manifold. So we've got a cast intake manifold that we poured here. Okay, we can do these with fuel rails for fuel injection. This is how it comes with the bungs, machine for the bungs for, night, for, uh, for, uh, for the fuel injection. And this one happens to be with nitrous also. Okay, so this is all set up for a small block Ford. So something like this is going to make uh, naturally aspirated. You're going to make over 1100 with it because it flows over 480 CFM. Um, I'd like to say what it makes in, in nitrous form, but I really don't know what that's going to be. That depends how far the piston's in the hole, uh, what your ring package is and things like that. But as far as any other cast head available, this is going to outrun any other head available the CID head will, okay, in a small block forward version. Okay, you got flow numbers here, 2280 valve, inch 625. We went to an inch 625 because we, we've been learning that the, that the things are under exhaust, okay? So as you can see, even the mid-lift numbers in the exhaust are exceptional. You know, a 600, 273 number is a big number. I mind you, these are off a 1020 bench, and we do guarantee the numbers because... We are the only one in the industry that does. And you look at these flow numbers in the middle, at 370, that's 370 numbers big, 418, 449, just how it jumps. Okay, what, what that means is the thing will accelerate on the track. Okay, so once you get off the gear change, the thing's still going to haul ass. Okay, and those are the advantages of coming to MBE because 
This is what we've done, you know, since we've been in business. We've really concentrated on all this. Okay, and this is it right here. So this is the MBE 12 degree CID head.